Hello there, I'm John Tanner, Global Technology Editor for Telecom Asia. We're here on the sidelines of LTE Asia at SunTech City in Singapore. And joining me right now is Patrick Neisters. He's the head of sales for Quantum Policy Solutions for APJC at Cisco Systems. Patrick, thank you very much for joining us. Now, recently Cisco has been making a serious push into the mobile space well beyond the packet core segment for which it's probably a bit more well known. Tell us what Cisco is currently offering to mobile operators. The Cisco mobile architecture comprises several solutions. So firstly, we have the Cisco mobile packet core solution, which is based on Cisco's ASR 5000 platform. This platform enables the operator to consolidate packet core network functions in both 2G, 3G, and 4G networks in such a way that they can flexibly assign resources. So we have built elasticity into this platform, which allows the operator with this platform to respond to changing dynamics in the network in terms of traffic. Secondly, we have the Cisco small cell solution. So this innovative part of the portfolio includes both licensed spectrum solutions for small cells, plus service provider Wi-Fi solutions. Then thirdly, we have the Cisco mobile uh, backhaul solutions, for which Cisco is well known, and is based on the expertise that Cisco has in IP routing. So the Cisco mobile backhaul solution uh, includes streamlined OEM, it includes end-to-end -end management, and we would typically see a lot of inbuilt intelligence that allows the operator to run this network at a high efficiency rate. And then lastly, but not least, is the Cisco quantum software suite. So the Cisco Quantum Software Suite is a multi-vendor software solution that enables the operator to extract, program, analyze, and optimize the network end-to-end, -end, all the way from the RAN up to the data center or the cloud, if they are. Now, how does quantum software help operators optimize and monetize their networks? So the Cisco Quantum Network Suite of solutions comprises of several components that all focus on automatically optimizing the network while at the same time providing a platform for monetization of valuable network data. So the first part of this uh, suite of uh, solutions is built around Cisco Quantum SON and Cisco Quantum One RAN orchestration. Cisco Quantum SON focuses on um, macro radio, macro RAN in a multi-vendor multi setting. When you look at Quantum RAN orchestration, it focuses on the wireline side of the network. You will typically find this in IP MPLS networks plus optical. Here it provides advanced traffic analysis that enables the operator to do precise network modeling and traffic forecasting. So the second part of the portfolio of Cisco Quantum Suite is the Cisco Quantum Network Abstraction and the Quantum Analytics Suite, which allows the operator to harvest, extract and harvest in network intelligence from the network both in real time and historically. This data can then be used to monetize this network by providing analytics report or by feeding it into your marketing department and then you can just uh, come up with premium, new premium services and subscriber experiences. And then the, the third part of this portfolio is the Cisco Quantum Policy Suite. So the, the Cisco Quantum Policy Suite allows the operator to dynamically and in real time program the network to allow them to offer customized services and experiences to their end subscribers. Okay, can you give us an example of how Quantum Policy Suite helps operators on the monetization front? So for instance, in, in Asia here, we're working with, with one operator in Southeast Asia that uses Cisco Quantum Policy as a platform for subscriber orchestration. In fact, they use Cisco Quantum Policy as a PCRF in the mobile network, but at the same time, they, they use it to provide a subscriber self-care portal, which allows the subscribers of this operator to instantly and dynamically change the services as they please at the time they want it. So with this operator, we actually have launched quite a few services. Um, over, over the past year, it's, it's been 60 plus services we have launched with this, uh, this subscriber. And one of the, the most successful we have seen in this specific operator was actually a zero rated or free uh, Facebook package that was targeted at low income users in this developing nation. So what other services can Quantum Policy Suite support? What we see in the industry right now is um, that the, 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 the demand of the industry and where we're going with Cisco Quantum Policy as well is for more complex services. So the day where you had simple time and volume quantum plans, th these are seem to be over, right? So there's very little differentiation there. So what we typically see right now, right, where customers are looking, our customers are looking towards right now is um, 
a shared quota plan for family quotas where, where you basically as a family you buy a shared package and then mom or dad can actually mix and match how much data is, is allowed to the kids or what, what kind of time the kids are allowed to use the service. We see roaming control, bill shock, especially we see that in Europe, right, to, to prevent bill shock when international roaming cost is there. But there's also, uh, for instance, parental controls. So overall we see a move towards uh, packages and services where it's more a mashup of multiple events, where before you would only act to simple network events. Now there's maybe a way you want to do um, subscriber offering, offerings based on the congestion level in your RAN and maybe react to that and do specific targeted offerings for subscribers over there. So looking ahead, what's on the roadmap for Cisco and Quantum? Right now we're, we're seeing a lot of demand in the market and we're closely working with, uh, with uh, operators around the world to integrate these different components even more tightly. So we have the, the, the SON optimization that focuses on RAN and we have for instance a quantum policy suite. So what we're now doing in an operator here in, in, in Asia is actually tying these very closely together where you can have policy control based on events that actually happen in your RAN and that are witnessed by the SON. When you combine this with analytics, you extract a lot of new network information that before wasn't there, it wasn't available. Well, unfortunately, we have to leave it there because we're out of time, but uh, Patrick Neisters of Cisco, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.